Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. I've got an update for you on my TV antenna that's up on the roof. The good news is that everything is working great. It is flawless. The ATSC3 broadcasts are coming in perfectly. All is good. And in my last video, a lot of folks were wondering about streaming these TV signals outside the home. Is it possible? And the answer is yes, although a lot of the complexities we've talked about in past videos regarding this new ATSC3 standard carry over to streaming it outside of the house as well. And we're going to get into this in just a second, but I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that we're going to be talking about the HD home run tuner that I am using with that antenna. Silicon Dust, the makers of that tuner, are occasional sponsors here on the channel, but they're not sponsoring this video, and they provided the tuner to the channel free of charge for our continued content development. We're also going to talk a little bit about the Channels app, which is also an occasional sponsor here on the channel. I've done some paid tutorials for them, but they are not sponsoring this video either. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and no one is reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it gets uploaded. So let's get into it now and see how we can take those TV signals and stream them anywhere in the world. Now these HD home run tuners we've talked about quite a bit here on the channel in the past, but in a nutshell, you connect your antenna to them and then also attach them to your local network. And they're designed mostly to work on the local network, but there are a number of ways you can get at them from outside. Now, what I recommend that you do is set up a VPN at your house. This would be different than the VPN services you would subscribe to. And many routers these days have VPN capabilities built right into them that allow you to connect into your home network from the outside, but do so securely. I'm not a big fan anymore of just opening up ports on your router, although that's one way you can do it. The problem, though, is that the HD Home Run software really isn't designed to work outside of the home. So we're going to use some third-party utilities to do it. Now, one of the easiest ways to go about it is to pull up the VLC player. And what you can do with that is connect to the IP address of your HD home run on the network. So for example, this is my Flex 4K's control panel. And if you go to the channel lineup and you just right click on one of these channels, you can get its link address. And if you drop that into the VLC player's network uh, section, you can just spin up a TV channel and start watching it, provided you have access to that tuner either on the local network or coming in from the outside. The problem, though, with ATSC 3.0 is that those broadcasts are using AC for audio, which at least at the time I'm recording this video, VLC does not support. So you're going to get images but no audio. Now, of course, VLC will work on the older ATSC 1.0 broadcasts, but again, not on the 3.0 broadcasts. And one of the reasons why 3.0 is better suited for online streaming is that it is using a modern codec that is very similar to the ones that we get from streaming services today, and the bit rate is a lot lower. So for example, right now I am streaming the same channel on ATSC 1 and 3, and the older standard here, as you can see, is running at about uh, 8.6 megabits per second. It is a variable bit rate, so you'll see that move over time. And sometimes it goes up higher than this. And that might be more difficult to work with, especially if your upstream or downstream bandwidth is limited. Remember, we're not doing any transcoding here. We're just trying to stream it direct from the box. And if we look at the ATSC3 broadcast, you can see it's running at about half the bit rate. And this is a lot easier to sustain on a cellular connection, for example. So what works the best so far? Well, if your local broadcasters are not DRMing the broadcast, which unfortunately some are doing these days, the one that I found works the best so far is Channels for HD Home Run. This is a standalone app that's designed for watching live TV off an HD Home Run tuner. I've got it running right now on my iPhone here. And one of the things that I like about it is that if you go into the settings and go over to manage sources, you can actually manually add a tuner by its IP address. So what you do is you connect to your VPN and you click on add tuner and you type in the IP address of your HD home run tuner on the network and then you can start playing the content back. And the good news about the channels app is that if your device supports AC4 broadcasts like my iPhone does here, it will play them just as pass-through audio. So you're able to get all that working. And a little bit earlier, and I apologize for blurring this out because of copyright, 
Uh, I was outside my house here with a very limited LTE connection. And as you can see there from the stats, we were able to play back a live broadcast from my CBS affiliate through the cellular network that was streaming out of my house. And I was able to hear it. It actually sounded just fine. And it was able to sustain the bit rate. It was a little uh, funky when it first got going, partly because I had to get in the right spot. I got very bad cellular reception here at the house. But once I got into a good spot, I was able to sustain the bit rate and just basically pass that signal through to my phone. I did drive downtown where we've got a nice new 5G C-band uh, cellular connection and there it worked perfectly, almost as good as it does here on the local network. And if you have a device that supports AC4 and the Channels app is available for it, I think you're going to have a good experience getting live TV to stream in that way. Now the app is also available on TV boxes and I was able to add tuners manually the same way on my Apple TV. Just note though that you might run into some difficulties getting VPNs to work on the Apple TV, for example, and there are some routers that will actually work as a VPN client that can connect your entire network to another remote one, and that might be an option to pursue if you wanted to do this on your television. But for me, my goal was to just get it working here with the phone. The only setting that I needed to change was in the playback section here under advanced, I did change the audio driver to experimental, which did smooth out the audio a bit for me. So if you're hearing sound that's a little crazy out of it, uh, jump into that setting and switch it to experimental and it should smooth right out. Now this app is a little different than the other channels app you might see on the App Store. This one is specifically designed for live TV and on the iPhone, and I believe on the iPad, it is a free app. So you can do this without having to subscribe to anything or pay for anything. You just won't have any DVR features. The app, though, does come with a cost on Apple TV, Android, and Fire TV. It's $25, but it's a one-time fee for that. They also, of course, have their DVR service, which we've talked about in the past. And this works a lot like Plex does in that you've got a DVR that runs on a NAS device or a mini PC or something, and it will uh, do video transcoding. So if you did want to transcode that signal down to something smaller, their DVR app would do that for you. And this is one difference from Plex, which at the moment doesn't support ATSC3 broadcasts, but Channel does. So the Channel's DVR will record your ATSC3 broadcasts. It will transcode them. So definitely check it out, especially if you have an iPhone or an iPad. You can download the app for free and play around with it a little bit. Now just keep in mind that the DVR service I just talked about does have a monthly subscription fee from Channel's. It is $8 a month, or you can do it annually at $80 a year. It does have some cool features, though, beyond the transcoding that you might want to check out. We've covered some of those in our prior videos here. But if you just wanted to play around with streaming your live television outside of the home, I think Channels for HD Home Run is the best way to do it, especially if you have an iPhone or an iPad. You can do it for free. Just download the app and connect it up and you're good to go. And it's not all that expensive on the other platforms because it is just a one-time fee. And the app itself does have some pretty cool features, including uh, Pause and Seek, which I didn't even know it had until I was looking through the specs here. So you'll get a pretty nice experience on this app just without any of the transcoding. And of course, you want to make sure that your devices support AC4 audio pass-through. Most of the Apple devices do, but Android might be hit or miss. So you may want to play around with it a little bit on a few different devices to see what works best for you. Unfortunately, again, we are starting to see some broadcasters putting the DRM flag on their broadcast, which is going to limit this ability. And right now, my broadcasters aren't doing it. I will, though, link to a video that the Antenna Man did I, with, I think, some really good analysis on this feature, if you will, uh, that broadcasters might be restricting us with. So stay tuned. I am sure there will be a lot more to talk about as ATSC3 continues to develop. The good news is I've got a really nice, solid connection to my broadcasters now, so we'll be able to touch on this topic quite a bit, and I would love to get some ideas from you down in the comments section because this video came from viewer suggestions. That's going to do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters Brian Parker, Chris Allegretta, Hot Sauce and Video Games, 
Logic KGR, Tom Albrecht, and Om the Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.